Let's have a closer look at some technical details before this weekend's US Grand Prix in Austin, Texas. At Ferrari we can see the uncovered nose which has the potential to bring a different nose design without the need for another crash test. Important money saving in times of a budget cap. And we can also see the pressure tappings that run into the first front wing element to measure the suction. With this, the team can see if the front wing is damaged during a race, if it produces less suction than normal. And we could also get a very rare view of Ferrari's engine. We see the intake with air filter at the top. The air seems to run down to the compressor side of the turbocharger, close to the engine block. Then gets compressed and guided through the cylindrical water to air intercooler on top of the engine, before guiding the air to the three cylinders either side. Nice to see there is the engine air intake and the auxiliary cooling duct that feeds multiple systems. Also we can see nicely the engine mounting points to the monocoque and the MG UK. Impressive is how tightly and narrow everything is packaged in front of the engine, to be able to push it into a pocket in the monocoque. At the back we can see the outlets of each cylinder, the pipe towards the turbine section of the turbocharger and the exhaust at the top. Also here you can see where the pipes of the auxiliary duct go to. Mercedes brought another innovation to the track. Although the team is big and was very successful in recent years, it's still impressive to see how many new ideas they bring to the track. This time they misuse the so-called slot gap separators to create extra outwash. As I pointed out at the beginning of the season, one of the main development targets of this year would be to create as much outwash as possible because keeping the dirty air outboard gives you more clean air in the center that you can use to produce downforce. And the bargeboard area that used to do this job is gone from this year on. All teams now updated to large side pods to push the front rear wake outside, except Mercedes. They followed the same design direction as in recent years and even reduced their side pods significantly. That's a good idea if you can somehow keep the front wheel wake outside, but now they try everything they can to do this. They do it with their mirror stays, with their outboard front wing section, and now the slot gap separators are another component to help. Vertical elements which create outwash on the front wing were banned in 2019. The current rule 398A allows teams to have up to three supports to create a pivot point for the flaps. Mercedes uses two. Rule 398B allows teams to use up to 8 slot gap separators. The shape is not defined and they can be up to 70 mm long. So Mercedes uses all 8 of them now. 5 are shaped to create outwash. Interesting are also McLaren's advertisement displays, which can change the sponsor while the car is driving. Something we might see more often in F1 soon. And we could get a good look at McLaren's air-to-air -air intercooler, which sits in the left side pod and has one pipe going to the intercooler, which is isolated with golden foil, and another pipe that runs back to the engine. Also, we can see their DRS design with a rocker. If you want to know more about F1 DRS design, check out my other video below. So I hope you like this little insights and see you at the next video.